All right, so in this video, I'm going to be covering section 6-2, normal distribution. So just a reminder, a normal distribution is a distribution where the distribution is has a bell-shaped curve. So for example, uh, let's assume that men's height is normally distributed uh, with a mean of 69.5 inches and a standard deviation of 2.4 inches. So what that tells us is that the distribution of men's height has a bell-shaped distribution uh, where the middle where the middle of the bell shape is the mean, right? So for, for example, like to the right, so we, we have this axis down here, these are men's height. Uh, to the right of, this, of the mean is the larger or the higher values, right? And then to the left of the mean, we have the shorter uh, men or the shorter height. And also very important that you understand that the shaded region under the curve is uh, represents the percentage of men's uh, height. So the shaded region, the entire region is 100% of men's height. What's also important is uh, whenever you see like just this image, this doesn't capture the entire picture. So if I expand this, so if we expand, uh, just know that the heights, they continue to the right and continue to the left. Uh, in addition to that, the curve also extends to the left and extends to the right just like that. So really 100% of the of men's height is the entire uh, shaded region that you see right there. And, and we know 100% is equal to 1 as a decimal, right? So often you're going to hear me say the area under the curve is equal to 1. That's, that's what I'm referring to. Okay, so in 6-2, again, I'm going to go very simple here. I'm just going to give you guys the essential, um, enough information, the essential information to just do the problems in this vi in these videos. Uh, so really in 6-2, there's only uh, two types of problems that you're going to be dealing with. Uh, the first problem, number one, is you're going to be asked to find area, probability, or percent of a population. Those three, three things in this section are pretty much synonymous. So anytime you are asked to find an area, a probability, or a percent of a population, those three things are synonymous. The function you're going to be using in the calculator is the normal CDF function. Uh, and then the other question you're going to be asked is uh, to find a z-score or an x-value. So again, x-values are just uh, the variable that we're dealing with, right? So uh, previously in the example I just gave, the variable, the x variable was men's height, right? So anytime you're asked to find an x variable or x value, uh, you're going to be using the function inverse norm. So let's go ahead and jump right into a problem. So in this problem it says, uh, many airlines have a requirement that a member of the cabin crew must have a height between 62 inches and 73 inches. Given that men have normally distributed heights with a mean of 69.5 inches and a standard deviation of 2.4 inches, find the percentage of men who satisfy that height requirement. So let me kind of highlight the important things here. So first thing we know is that men's height is normally distributed, where the mean is 69.5 inches and the standard deviation of 2.4 inches. So Visually, you should be thinking of this diagram right here. So we have a bell-shaped distribution for men's height, and in the center of that distribution is the mean, 69.5 inches. And the problem here is asking us to find the percentage of men who satisfy the height requirement. So what's the height requirement? Uh, well, it's right here, right? They have to be between 62 inches and 73 inches. So essentially, we know that the area under the curve, the entire area, right, the entire shaded region is 100%, but we're just trying to find the area, the part that is between 62 inches and 73 inches. So a problem like this, we're going to be using normal CDF. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull up the calculator and I'll show you guys how to uh, work this problem. So we're going to go... Uh, second vars and we're going to select normal CDF which is the second function so the lower bound is going to be the lowest number under the shader region so under the shader region the lowest value the leftmost point is the 62 inches 
So that's what we're going to put in for our lower bound. Our upper is the rightmost point. So here we have 73 inches. Uh, the mean here is 69.5. The standard deviation is 2.4. All right, we're going to go down to pace, enter. And this is not quite our answer. So the question asks for a percentage. So we're going to need to change this to a percent. So we're going to do that by multiplying by 100. And there we go. So our answer would be 92.7. So typically we round percentages to one decimal place. So the answer would be 92.7% of all men would satisfy uh, that height requirement. So again, very important. If, if the question was, say, to ask, like, what's the probability that a men uh, or you, we would select somebody who has a height between 62 inches and 73, uh, 73 inches. So that problem is asking for a probability. And we know probability ranges from 0 to 1. So in that case, if that was the situation, if the question was asking for a probability, uh, then your answer would be the would be this answer, right? And, we, and typically we round probability to four decimal places. So if that's the case, the probability would be 0.9267. All right. OK, so let's continue to the second problem. So let's take a look at uh, this problem, uh, similar situation. So we it says, uh, when designing an environment, one common criterion is to use a design that accommodates 95% of the population. What aircraft ceiling height will allow 95% of men to stand without bumping their heads? Assume that heights of men are normally distributed with a mean of 69.5 inches and a standard deviation of 2.4 inches. Okay, so this problem is a little bit different. So I'm just going to go straight to what the picture, uh, what the correct picture should look like. So the correct picture should look, well, first of all, th that's the important stuff, right? We want to find the height, uh, which will allow 95% of men to stand without bumping their head. Uh, so the picture that you should um, have when you're working this out is you're looking for a height. So you're looking for a value down on this axis where, again, this axis um, this number line has is represents men's height, right? We're, we're looking for a value here uh, so that it separates the bottom 95%. So let me go ahead and write that down. So we want, this is 95% uh, of the, the, the bottom heights, right? Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you, but let me try to see if it, if it makes, um, if I can explain it a little bit further. So for example, let's say that we have a, a, a a guy let's call him um, you know let's call him average Joe uh, so average Joe has a height of well he's average so he has a height of 69.5 inches right so let's say that we create this ceiling so that it would you know that um, it would barely average Joe would be able to just walk without bumping his head so in that case the height of the ceiling would be 69.5 inches uh, however, there's a problem there because 69.5 inches would only allow average Joe and f the bottom 50% to walk without bumping their head. So anybody taller than that would have to crouch down when they're walking, right? They, otherwise, they'd, they'd bump their head. So essentially, uh, we want to find a height, a higher um, height or a taller height such that it would allow the uh, bottom 95% of men to walk without bumping their heads. And essentially, it, it's excluding those top 5%. So somebody like, uh, you know, a professional basketball player like Shaquille O'Neal, who is 7 plus feet tall, uh, they're part of the 5%, the top 5%, so they wouldn't be able to walk uh, without bumping their head. So essentially, what, what's going to happen here is uh, we need this ceiling to be uh, such that 95% of people uh, would walk without bumping their heads. So anytime you're looking for a value down here on this number line, this axis, in this case, you know, x represents men's height, uh, you're going to be using the function inverse norm. So we're going to click second bars. Uh, we're going to go to inverse norm. And in the area, uh, for, for those of us who have the older TI-84 or this or TI-84, uh, you're going to need to put the area to the left. So we're always going to put the area to the left. If you have, again, if your calculator is uh, the older version of the 84. So if your screen looks like this, that's what you're going to do. 
So we know we're going to put 0.95, which is the area to the left. And when I say area to the left, what I mean is uh, if you cut the normal distribution like that, and this is the number that you're looking for, so this is kind of like the, the line of demarcation, uh, this is the area to the left, this is the area to the right, and you're always going to want to put the area to the left. Right. And in addition to that, you have to put a decimal number uh, from 0 to 1. All right, so the mean is 69.5, and the standard deviation is 2.4. So we're going to do that and paste, and we get 73.4 inches approximately. So we get uh, 73.4 inches. So this is the height that they must create um, the airplane ceiling uh, so that it would accommodate 95% of the population. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, again, you can always check to see whether your answer makes sense by kind of using the mean as your reference point. So the mean here is 69.5 inches. We expect something higher, and 73.4 inches is, is higher than that, so that kind of makes sense, right? Okay, so hopefully that helps. Again, um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email.